All right, so we've done a lot of work to produce this particular worksheet. Um, and within the workbook, we have another of uh, other uh, number of other worksheets. So worksheet two and worksheet three have nothing in it at the present time. I can add a worksheet by clicking on this icon. And so now I have three unused worksheets. By the same token, I can right click and delete a worksheet. I can also, if I go back to sheet one, and I want to copy this because I've done a lot of work to get this far. And so I'm going to click on move copy. And I'm going to create a copy of this worksheet. And it's going to go So it's a copy of worksheet one. So these ones, this worksheet has nothing in it. I'm going to delete it. And this worksheet has nothing in it. I'm going to delete that as well. So now I have two identical worksheets, worksheet one and the copy of worksheet one. And I'm going to rename this. So I'm going to call this math. And this one, let's say this is now grade 9 geography. And it's the same students. And got my cap locks on. Um, so I'm going to rename this one geography. So now I have two worksheets, one called Math, one called Geography. And so now I can edit these marks. And you'll notice that the conditional formatting stays the same. So we don't have to do all the steps with all the con conditional formatting. So if Joe is getting 65 in Geography, and let's say Susan is struggling in Geography, she's getting 56, you'll notice that all the conditional formatting stays the same. So that's how you can copy worksheets within a workbook. And so the whole document here is a workbook made up of a math worksheet and a geography worksheet. So now you're going to work on creating a new, a copy of the Battleship uh, worksheet that you've worked on so far in your document.